Hey, I get to tell you again, Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God the Word works. You can go to the Word, change anything, and the Word will prevail uh, over your life. Reading out of my old Kenneth Copeland Bible. Had that thing for years and years and years. Love to read the Word of God. But I'm going to... I'm going to correct you today. I told you yesterday, God corrected me yesterday. Well, actually, this morning. I was getting up and praying, thinking about things. It's about, well, it's actually 3.15 this morning, and the Spirit of the Lord said, don't do that. And I thought, uh, leave me alone. I'm kind of enjoying doing that. He said, don't do it. It'll kill you. The correction was for my good. It wasn't because God needed somebody to be a blessing to him. He wants me to live. He wants me to live and not die. He wants me to be in good health and have a long life. And he said, quit doing that. Well, correction's good for you. So I'm going to correct you. I'm going to hurt you a little bit. I'm going to read out of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Yeah, let's see. Foolish and unlearned questions. This is in verse 23. Avoid knowing that they do gender strife. Woo! Well, there's that word again. Get out of strife. What's this? For the servant of the Lord. Now, I'm the servant of God. I mean, I'm called to minister around the world. I believe I have more places to preach than I've had in the last year. But I believe I'm a servant of God. I'm called of God. But you're called of God also. Everybody that's a born-again believer is called of God to preach the gospel of reconciliation to the whole world. That's part of what we do. The servant of the Lord must not, must not, didn't say should not, didn't say cannot, didn't say maybe you shouldn't ought to, said, must not. This is a command of God. The servant of the Lord, I am, you am, the servant of the Lord, must not be in strife. Now it said, the servant of the Lord must not strive, must not be in strife. But watch this. I just have to read this. But uh, must not be in strife. Servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle, apt, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. Now, that's the biblical answer of what strife is. Being in opposition to somebody else. You can be in strife with your husband. You can be in strife with your parents. I mean, teenagers need to learn this. Your parents have been there before. They know what you don't know. Now, watch. Instructing those <clears throat> that God will give them repentance, that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. I am reading verse 26 of 1 Timothy, or 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 26. That they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him, the devil, at his will. Oh, nobody wants the devil in their house. Nobody wants the devil to come in and destroy their body. No, 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 no. Nobody wants that. So it says the servant of the Lord must not strive, must not be in strife. You cannot afford it. Now, I'm going to talk about something else tomorrow, but watch this. Because if you're in strife, you open the door to the devil. I'm going to read it again. That they may recover themselves out of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. You get in strife with the news media. You get in strife with your wife over, uh, you know, that she didn't do this or she didn't do that or whatever. You get in strife with your husband because he spent too much money or, or he didn't pay the bills on time. Dear God, my old husband, you know, he just don't take care of business. I tell you what, my husband this, <laughs> my husband that, or, or you know, when they get old, my wife, <laughs> hey, you can't afford that at all because when you do that, you're opening the door to the devil and taking, being taken captive by him, the devil, at his will. Correction, hey, warning, you get an attitude, you feel that thing coming up. I mean, you know, after I've taught this to you for the last couple of three days, y'all sitting there saying, I don't want to hear that. Hey, I didn't want to hear what God said to me this morning. It made me mad, but it was for my good. So I'm going to preach at you for the rest of this week on this, and it might make you mad, but it's for your good. Get out of strife. Don't get mad at what the news media says. Don't get mad at the Republicans or the Democrats or, you know, the, you know, whatever, the socialists. Don't get, hey, I, I, I can get upset at what's going on in Venezuela. I've got friends down there. I've got friends in Cuba, and I don't like it, but it don't do me any good to get upset and get in strife with what their government's doing because not hurting them, it's only going to hurt me. Quit opening the door to the devil. The servant, you. Servant, me. Must not. Didn't say couldn't. Didn't say shouldn't. It's a command of God. 
You got to get this out of your life. Smoking won't get you in as much trouble as this drinking and getting drunk won't get you in as much trouble as being mad at the pastor and in strife at what he said last week. Oh, I got to go. I'll get back to this tomorrow. I'm going to try to help you, help you, help you. Get out of strife. Just sit there and say, well, praise God. I'll show you all those. I'll give you some points about getting out of strife oh, two or three days from now. But right now, try, don't do it. Hey, saints, be blessed. And one of the ways to be blessed is stay out of strife. Hey, be with you tomorrow. Till then, hey, saints, remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.